Orlando's Pride Festival is the largest single day event in all of Central Florida. It brought in over 200,000 people last year with an economic impact estimated at around $25 million. For some small businesses and restaurants and nightclubs, that is their best day of the year. But after Governor Ron DeSantis signs SB 1438, the Protection of Children Act, the festival and parade are going to have to change. And we had so much progress in the community, but now we find ourselves in a different place. Now we find ourselves almost going back to the root of the LGBTQ plus movement. SB 1438 says children cannot be allowed into adult live performances if they are without serious literary, artistic, political, or scientific value for the age of the child present. The the bill says that would be an immediate serious danger to the public health, safety, or welfare. The bill does not specifically target uh, parades. You can have a parade, um, but if the parade is going to have uh, you know, activities of an adult nature, then kids have to be kept away. The Pride Alliance of the Treasure Coast had to cancel its parade planned for this weekend in Port St. Lucie, and the rest of its festival is now restricted to adults 21 and older who will have to prove their age to security. And, and run a parade through downtown um, it should be a, it should be appropriate for the children that might be in the audience. I don't know why this is such a hard concept for people to understand. In Orlando, Pride Fest organizers have already talked with the city and the chief of police in preparation for their celebration. And he assured us that our safety is, you know, top priority to making sure that all our guests feel like they are safe. We've obviously obviously seen an increase of threats nationally to LGBTQ plus communities community and pride celebrations. Orlando's Pride Fest isn't until October 21st, so its organizers say they kind of want to see how the chips fall before they make any major decisions. That same group has an adult prom coming up this Friday. In Lake Eola Park, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.